Hi Gemini, how are you? This is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading from the 19th to the 25th. I'm sorry I haven't been live last week and I still have no internet, no telephone or TV, so I can't go out live. I'm sorry my darling, but please bear with me and I'll be back in the air next week. I don't know when. I am doing a marathon on Saturday today uh, to... Uh, for charity for a friend a sister of a friend of mine that needs a life-saving operation and that's when I will be uploading uh, the videos onto YouTube so that um, you will have your reading and I hope uh, the rest as well I'm trying to do loads of things all at once typical Gemini as you know it will resonate with you most probably um, doing 10 things at the same time and get everything done and yeah I'm, I'm sorry I can I'm only human but it's nice to see you and enjoy the video whilst um, uh, uh, whilst you're waiting for me to do the romance readings and to do the energy of Scorpio as we are going into Scorpio so thank you very much for all your shares loves and likes and back to you too hugs fiber cyber hugs and my thumbs up and likes and love as well stay safe and um, in these difficult times and let's see what the story is this week and if you're welcome please uh, if you're new sorry if, welcome and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube and your mobile device the first card that you have is you yourself perhaps uh, no it's not but it is the Queen of Air and we shouldn't exclude Gemini or Aquarius as she represents Libra you might be actually meeting a Libra or have a Libra around you that is like the Queen of Swords direct uh, emotions under control you might have your emotions under control as well Gemini you might be the Queen you you're not you are the King but in this case you might you might be very young and inexperienced and you have the emotions of the Queen so you know think before you speak think before you take action that is what I'm hearing okay um, don't be too flippant watch your intonation you catch more uh, flies with honey than with vinegar there is a new beginning on the horizon since you are in a transformational period look at all the butterflies and this is a different deck and there's even a, a, a butterfly in the card the fool and you are going to take a leap of faith perhaps on Monday if not on Monday definitely this week well I am I'm taking a leap of faith I'm getting a new provider even with a lot of frustration that's my le faith of leap of faith okay I'm having faith that I'll be back in the air on Monday okay there might be somebody around you could be a Capricorn or a Libra that has a bad habit or uh, has an addiction then it's time to get things out in the open and get it clear bring yourself back into balance or them uh, tell them to seek advice hopefully from somebody that can bring clarity and cut out the BS because that's what the Queen of Swords does it doesn't have to be you because like I said this could be a Libra because the Queen represents Libra it can be you but don't be somebody's backbone be your own person be clear be direct she knows what she wants and she doesn't she can't stand bullshit sorry I've got to say it okay she will cut straight through to the issue and tell you exactly what you should do and what you how you ought to be so that's why I said be careful with your sharp tongue okay you can bring it sensitively lovingly like the mum because the, the Queen is a mum and she loves her kids and sometimes we can be sharp but we have to be clear and sometimes we have to be forceful like the Queen of Swords but what's your intonation okay 
No, show the person that has the addiction or the bad habit that you care about them and you mean it sincerely and you want you, you're telling the truth you know you don't want that to be their backbone you don't want to be their doormat mat if it is a partner like a Cap uh, capricorn then be clear say I, w I love you dearly but you're killing this relationship because you're putting all your hassles all your problems on me and i have to uh, i have to be the queen and i have to take care of everything that is not how it's supposed to be it's supposed to be in balance it should be equilibrium in balance give and take respect towards each other if there is somebody around you that has a bad habit or an addiction tell them to seek help okay you've got the princess of swords so that's the page of swords this could be Aquari uh, aquarius and uh, or again don't exclude Gemini or Libra you've got a lot of air in your reading so news is coming in big time you are turning your back on non clarity so this news could come through cyber text message email or a telephone call and this will aid you in your new beginning Perhaps you're breaking free from this um, person that is uh, manipulative or um, pushy or bossy, because that's a bad habit as well. And you're standing your own ground. You are taking this leap of faith, a new beginning, because you're sick of non-clarity. Okay, you are. You want clarity. You are honest. You want justice. Okay. The clarity will come. At the end of the uh, week, we've got the Prince of Wands. The Prince of Wands is the Page of Wands. So that is Sagittarius, but don't exclude Aries or Leo. Well, that could be the Capricorn, Aries or Leo that has a bad habit instead of the Libra or Gemini. Okay, and there will be news about finances. Perhaps that's um, an, an addiction. They might have uh, an addiction to money. They might be working too much, this person. It could also be you. So drop the hab uh, habitual negative uh, habit or habitual. Uh, yeah. It's like this is like uh, the digestive system it's like some you are trying to digest something and it won't leave you it's coming from the emotional chakra this is what i'm seeing in this card so let old emotions go don't hang on to old emotions that's a bad habit as well you're getting news there will be action there will be passion or you will might get news about a job or you might get news about moving home you might be getting news about a hobby or something that you've been passionate about and you've been holding on to which is ruining your life and now you can let it go it will bring in money a new beginning this could be like I said a home this could be a relationship um, this could be uh, some um, a new job something that's tangible and durable and for long term as you've got the ace of pentacles you could even be meeting an earth sign a Virgo a Capricorn uh, we've got the Capricorn here boom uh, and also a Taurus hmm okay new beginnings long term and tangible and durability something is going to become clear and the king of swords we've got the couple here so you might be coupling up with somebody new or uh, some you or somebody else might be working through the habits and there will be a new beginning see the triangle the uh, um the, uh, gosh the divine the trinity triangle okay the king of swords you might get advice from the Gemini so we've got the Gemini in the Libra but don't f 
get Aquarius. Okay. And we've got Aquarius here, the young one. It could be, be with regards to a child, that a father and a mother might be worried about a child. Okay, that has a bad habit. Okay, things will become clear to you. You might even seek legal advice, as the King of Swords knows the letter of the law like the Queen of Swords. And they stand for legality, judicial and municipal institutions. Okay justice, clarity, wisdom and communication. You two might be talking to the child and saying you've got to cut the BS, cut that habit. You can't burn the candle on both ends, you can't drink because then you can't study. Things like that. Things are going to happen really, really quick and clarity will come. This new beginning will come for you. Okay, then you have the uh, Seven of Wands. You might feel that you have to protect yourself, perhaps judicially, or protect yourself and stand your ground as to what you want to get things clear, to get things clear whether you're a man or a woman. You are setting your boundaries, that is what I'm hearing. You are definitely setting your boundaries and nobody's going to cross those boundaries anymore because you're standing firm with two feet on the ground. If friends or family or anybody else doesn't like you and they're always trying to provoke you to justify yourself, you have no need to justify yourself. You are your own person, you don't have to be manipulated. Okay, walk away from other people's drama. Take that leap of faith. You are strong enough. Okay. Okay. There could be somebody jealous around you that is always trying to uh, get things stirred up. Don't get stirred up. Stand your ground. Then we have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands means there is rapid news coming. Wow. News, news, news is flying around your ears, Gemini. And if you get the Knight of Wands, that means that you might be moving home. You could be hearing about a new job, as the Wands stand for action. Creativity is a new hobby. Could be that you're changing your hobby into a career. So, act upon this swiftly, like the Knight of Wands. You could be meeting a Leo. You could be meeting uh, an Aries or a uh, Sagittarius. You might be receiving news. This is the Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius. Whoa, this is brilliant. Okay, then we've also got the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups means there will be an offer. This could be of love or this could be of a job. So we've got job, job, job here. There might be new work around you or for you. <coughs> like I said, you might be turning a hobby into an, um, a career. Then we have the tea, re tea leaf cards. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. You are not seeing the forest because of the trees, or that you can't see the trees because of the forest. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening. There you go, that is what I just said. Either job, or hobby, or love, or passion with the cups. And it is for long term and it's tangible. You've got the arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Wow. The angel card that you have, Gemini, is spiritual vision. Missing pieces of the puzzle. Well, it will become clear to you this week. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key activates the window of the soul, effectively heightening your spiritual vision to reveal a vital piece of the missing information. This sacred energetic key is delivered to you by Archangel Michael and it is a powerful blessing bringing you into intuitive vision. 
this key is of extreme importance to you as this point in time it allows you to have expended peripheral vision and heightens your observational skills well that's typical Gemini and your intuition a vital piece of information is going to be revealed bringing the solution you have been asking the angels for this discovery will prove to be the missing piece of puzzle that will bring a pitiful pivotal turning point in your present situation Archangel Michael now leads the way forward guiding you with angel signs angelic downloads and inspiration of messages in your dreams this energy of this key is so powerful Archangel Michael refers to it as angelic perception take this key with love and gratitude hold it near your heart and hold that it gives you and know that it gives you your gift is delivered and so it is so clarity is going to come to you through your higher self you are more perceptive and spiritual at this time especially with the two moons in uh, October and we are going into another energy as well we're going into Scorpio and Scorpio does mean mystery and sensuality Woo! and I'll be making that video next week I hope you have enjoyed this reading good luck and stand on your own two feet walk away from other people's dramas bossiness and get the clarity set your boundaries okay I love this reading take care good luck and I love you and miss you stay safe and healthy please like and share ciao ciao